<coughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar, and uh, this video today is Corey Holcomb drops bomb on non-submissive women at the Church of Fifty One Fifty, and uh, I told y'all we was diving deep into some uh, some peel talk, so we finna uh, see what he got to say and go from there. Uh, it's on the THPP network, the network. I don't know how to. I don't know. Let's just rock out. The man that you done got behind and stand behind. Uh. You should be giving advice to the man that you done got behind and stand behind. Because we'll listen to you if you whisper to us. If you talk with your regular voice, I'll be, hey! None of that in my house. Now, if you got somebody who looked like Ugly Larry, women yell at him just because of how he looked. They hate they gave him the... They be like, hey, give me some more money so I can justify this. I'm just saying, ugly people, this is... Ugly guys, man. I'm telling tell you, boy, you got to have that bankroll if you're going to... First Timothy 2 says, let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. For Adam was, deform was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived. But the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. Yet she will be saved through childbearing. That is true. Eve was deceived. That is true. That is fucking true. If they continue in faith and love holiness with self-control. Craig, that's deep. Uh -huh. That's a real verse in that's the Bible, right? That's 1 Timothy 2. <laughs> is it a Timothy in the Bible? I thought that was a gangbanger from out south. <laughs> it's not Timberland from Virginia. This is What is it? 1 Timothy what? Will you please read it again, Greg? Because that's deep. 1 Timothy 2 provides more clarity. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. I do not permit... Wait! I'm sorry. I ain't trying to break you up. It's all good. It's all good. He said, let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. With all submissiveness. Do you want to break that down? That means shut up. <laughs> and if you do say something, be very careful as you speak it. I'm breaking down scripture right now on the 5150 show. This is a church. What else to say, Craig? I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Wait, wait, wait. That means shut the f up. They saying it in the Bible. <laughs> Tell me where I'm lying. What else? Rather, she is to remain quiet. For Adam was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman was. Is she wearing a shirt with her husband on it? What? Uh, her baby daddy what is that ice tea with ice cubes in? <laughs> sorry, oh sorry, I just noticed that, bro. I was like, why the fuck is she wearing a shirt with ice tea on it, bro? And then I actually looked at it, bro. That's hilarious. Was deceived and became a transgressor. That's that deep. means shut the. And I know that that's her baby daddy. They was together in the nineties or whatever. I know they got kids together. Up this been here. <laughs> Yet she so will, say if the Lord. Oh wow! <laughs> Yet she will be saved through childbearing. If you ain't got a baby, you are not saved. Keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Uh. Follow me as I walk, and be quiet. So saith the Lord. Ooh, Can I tell you something, ladies? Listen to me. This is some real sh you really need to hear. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Ari Spears here. Listen, I want to ask women a question. So yesterday, I was in the grocery store. And there was this young brother who was looking at this beautiful woman and decided to compliment her. And he goes, I just want to tell you, very beautiful. 
And this is how she responded. Oh, thank you. And I want to know, why do some of you pretty women respond in such a disgusting manner? It, was, it wasn't like he disrespected her, called out on her. They hear it too much from the dudes that they don't want. That's what, that's all it is. They hear all that shit from all the niggas they don't care about. Name, or even tried to, was too aggressive, or even tried to pursue her outside the compliment. He was very tasteful and respectful. Why respond like that? And that's why a lot of men don't even want to approach women. Because some of y'all's attitude really disgusting. I felt bad for that brother, man. You think you're going to hear from my mouth? You know, you're not supposed to hit a woman? Not from my mouth. You hit him, and he's allowed to defend himself. Yeah. He punched me in my arm. He ran into the house. He came back out talking about his lip something. Came out, kicked in my car what three times. What do you mean talking about his lip? His lip, you... apparently, I hit him in the mouth. Apparently his lip was whatever. I had a bruise on my arm. I don't care about your arm. Okay. I don't care about your arm. I care about your lip. Was your lip bleeding? Yes. To your car. I did not punch him. I slapped him. Well, you may have slapped him, but you slapped really him hard enough to, to make sure. his lip bloody. So, I'm currently single. <laughs> And I'm dating, but there's one that I like like more than the rest. But we have an issue. I'm really mean to him. Like I'm really mean to him. Like okay. I insult him all the time, and he loves it. Which is fine, it works, but then, cause like the way that I think is, is that if you are not, if you don't put these guys on check, they think you stupid. <laughs> I dated a professional athlete, great at what he does. Oh my gosh, that's a lot to take in. What the fuck is going on with all these cuts? Oh man. Well, let's dissect some of that. Uh, the Bible, yes, if you are a God-fearing man and woman, you can't go You can't go against Christ. It, it just is what it is. Hey, Amen. There is no if and buts about it. And if you wholeheartedly believe in God and you was raised under those terms, then, like, it is what it is. All this new age stuff, like, trying to believe in God and still do their own thing can't be lukewarm. If you believe in God and your spouse believes in God, then, you know, the, the, the man of the house gets their blessings through God and then he blesses the house he blesses his woman and the woman bless the kid that's just the total that's just the hierarchy that's just that's just it's what it is can't go about can't go against it can't go can't can't say nothing about it can't do this it is what it is so with that being said you cannot argue that second a lot of people do stray away from that now and hell like my grandma and them say like that's what's wrong with a lot of folks today they stayed and strayed away from God instead of like shunning god and trying to make up all these new these new laws people need to actually get back close to god and a lot of things will fix and then on top of that even in even with today everybody thinks about themselves and just them 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 or what they want and stuff like that when nobody even like lives for they don't do things out of the kindness of their heart or they don't actually do things for love. It's all about money or how much money you can do. And that's just the sad state of the world. But I don't really want to get too deep on that. But hell, folks need more G more God in their life. For real. There's not a lot of room for emotion to be involved. It's either true or it's not true. I know Jesus isn't his real name. I'm trying to stop saying Jesus, but it'd be, it's hard when you've been indoctrinated. To say that name all the time. Or you're going to get your neck broken. He could date whoever he wanted or sleep with whoever he wanted. And we were like arguing about something. And I was like, well, why would you date me? If like, I'm the person you date if you want like a challenge. And he just went, why would any man want a challenge? You're mean to a man and he likes it. Likes it. 
Let me tell you something about men. We will tolerate crazy to get what we want. In that moment, it was like, oh my God, I thought it was like hot to you. I thought it was like mm. what guys wanted. I thought it was like feisty. Like, I apologize. Well, especially if you're dating somebody that is high performing in any realm, mm -hmm. uh, has goals. If you're working that hard, in the office. You really want to come home and be like, right, there's that to-do list done. I wonder what fires I need to fight when I step through the front door as well. <laughs> and he right. ignores me when I'm nice to him, but if I mean to him, he, he talks to me. So like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anybody ever asked you, was you crazy? All the best ones are crazy. <laughs> come on, the fun ones are crazy. Everybody knows this. Hey, but you just saying anything now, ho. These <laughs> polite savages. <laughs> bro, anytime I see Char uh, Char Char Charles White, bro, Charles, damn, I can't even say it there. Anytime I see OG Unk on that bit, that nigga say the craziest thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of polite savages, we are now about to explore what happens when women of the modern era forget they are women and start acting in a full masculinity. Now, only thing that we can guarantee is tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth as we see it. And of course, the truth is a bitter pill, but sometimes you gotta shut up and take your medicine. But with all that being said, there's nothing else left to do but just to get it. So are you ready? Let's go. Something's changed in the attitude of the modern woman that they actually think that it's appropriate to act evil and nasty to any man walking by, especially to the man that they happen to call their partner, spouse, husband, boyfriend. You get it? I find it very interesting that the men who civilized the world, who's broken down the barriers, who's made it safe for you to walk around this country are the same ones that you absolutely despise in a lot of ways and think that you must have a superiority complex over them. This faux masculinity filled with feminist jargon and marvelous media marketing for years have been pushing the narrative that men are inept and stupid. Married with children, anyone? You see, the thing that men most value is respect. A man will take respect over love any day if you really want to know. And women will take love over respect. That's why they mess around with Pookie and Ray Ray who show them affection but give them zero respect. Yes, we are different creatures by nature. But it only seems like men are driven to understand women while a lot of women just don't try to understand men anymore. But ma'am, I'll tell you one thing. Raising your voice over talking, talking loud, being disrespectful. That just ain't it. You're uh, telling me that a woman has to go work like a man every day and a man goes work and he's tired when he gets home. A woman's not tired. She has to clean, cook, do the dishes, do the laundry. Are you kidding? Why don't you want to do that? What Damn. are you talking about? Why don't I want to do that? You know how tiring first, that is? Have you done that? First of have all, you done that? I do it every day. Fellas, do not choose a woman who don't want to be a woman. Right. So you don't want to be a woman. Wait, I just no, let you You don't want to be a woman. Yelling doesn't mean you're winning an argument. It's a sign of low intelligence. You can lower your voice and speak to me. I'm sitting right here, I can hear you. That's so all this, oh, I cook and I clean and I, yeah, that's part of your function. But when your tire is flat, my function is to make sure you have a new tire. But when that's your what car I'm need an oil change, it's my job to make sure these people ain't ripping you off. We have different duties and functions and responsibilities. And if you don't love your duty, your function, your responsibility, you're not fit to be a white, period. Oh. So let me get this straight, ma'am. You Damn, that was rough. He was, he, he, damn, that's true, though. That's fucking true. That's... Want to compare the job that you do with a job a man does, but still wants a man to provide and protect for you? Are you going fifty fifty? Shit, my sister called my daddy all the time when she in her oil change and all that stuff. Well, now she kind of knows like how much this shit is between like all of us and all our cars. But even still, like she not my brother wash her car. You know what I'm saying? When she got hospital visits and. uh appointments and stuff and surgeries i guys take her like each one of us do our duty for her so like that's true bro like you just gotta it's stuff like you not gonna let your girl change a tire no i mean that's just me how i was raised i'm not gonna be my girl not gonna change no tire my girl not gonna do my she's not gonna do none of that shit around me Ch check oil 
None of that. If I'm in the car with her, she's not pumping her own gas. She not finna get ripped off by some stupid shit. If she ain't got it, I'm gonna cover it. All kinds of real life. That's just how I was raised, though. But, and, you know, all my brothers are the same way, so. That's true, man. Like, you gotta know, you gotta know your role in society as a, as a first off, you gotta know your role as a man. And then, when you find a female that compliments you and picks up all those roles as a you know, that as a girl's supposed to do, then you got yourself a lovely young lady. But a lot of women don't know their roles in today's society. And then they're too busy trying to tell us how to be a man when they don't know how to it, what it is to be a man, especially in today's world. Oh, God. Be on these relationships, or do you want a man to carry the brunt of the weight? Well, well most women want men to do the latter and not the former. But let's just say, bro. These I hate all these AI mess, these fucking AI videos and shit, bro. Like, this shit is like disturbing. Like, look at this right here. Like this fucking looks like that fucking dude from that damn. Uh, look at her nose. Like, it's this shit's always disturbing. All this like disturbs me, bro. I forgot what the damn cartoon. Oh, they look like Archie and shit. And all the other ones, like they got animal faces or some weird shit from Persona. Hey, that you've worked eight hours a day in your job. Let's say you're an administrator. Now, let's say you got a man who's working a blue collar job. Let's say he's a construction worker. Who do you think's more tired after eight hours of labor? Your labor compared to his labor when he comes home. Who's making the brunt of the money? I mean, we have to be honest with ourselves. And this leads me to another situation of honesty. Why do women think that? That's true. My brothers, all of them, they wail. And my dad, like, he, my dad uh, has a welding school that he created. And all my brothers work under there, work under him. And uh, them niggas be tired. So I can only imagine a female coming into their life, keeping up some bullshit. Man, hell no. Nah. They can hit a man and a man won't hit them back. I'm just trying to figure out what happened in society. What happened that women said they wanted to be equal, they wanted to be just as good as a man, they want to fight like a man, but don't want to take the pressure that a man's going to give a woman if they act like a man. Listen, I'm not ever going to say hit a woman, absolutely not, but I'm never going to let a woman hit me. Men should never hit a woman. Why not? That's just uh -huh. fucked up. Why not? Why? Why should a man hit a woman? To protect himself. Oh man, this is in, this is a lot. <laughs> what do you mean? I just disagree with your viewpoints. Why? That you you think a man should hit a woman? Should a woman hit him? Yes, I do. I don't think violence is the answer to anything. No, in protection, he's self-defense. Let's say a woman hit, he shouldn't just go around hindering just for no reason. Yeah. But let's say that should women hit men? No. Right. So if a woman should hit a man, shouldn't he smack her back? No. Why not? Because she's a girl. Well, she doesn't no. know that. I learned the hard way that fuck these bitches, bro. So I was in elementary school, right? Does it elementary school or middle school? It was elementary school, and I'm like, this one, like I'm I'm freshly moved up here, and I'm a uh, I'm one of the new kids, and this girl kicked me in the motherfucking nuts, bro. No, 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 no. That was the end. That was the, that's what made, that's what made me go off. Uh, so I'm in. I was in one of the arts class drama. I want to say drama because I fell asleep and we was watching a movie. So a lot of people fell asleep. But for, for some reason, she wanted to wake me up by pinching me out my sleep. And I, bro, for some reason, that pinch, I don't know, it's because I got jolted up. But whatever, that shit made me cry. Like I started, I, I started tearing up. And this one, like, I'm young, bro. Like, I don't care what you say, bro. We gotta protect our black boys. They be it's okay to cry, bro. I I cry. I was crying. She pissed the fuck out of me, bro. Like I want to say it drew blood. Like she like it, it wasn't like your your mama pinch or your grandma pinch where they take you. Like she dug her nails in me and twisted it, bro. Like cut she cut skin, bro. It was so fucking weird. She's a fucking weird ass kid. And so I'm waking up and I'm bleeding and stuff. And, you know, I'm holding it. And then she, she's laughing about it, right? And so we're walking to our next class in line. And she did something. And, and she said something. And I, 
I don't know what happened, but she said something and then proceeded to kick me in the nuts. And that's when I lost it, bro. Because I was already mad. Like, first you already pinched me and I'm bleeding. And now you want to kick me in my balls in front of the entire class. So, in my head, it's like, I'm already crying. So, I'm going to go out like a bitch. Or just slap the shit out of her. And so, when I slapped, and then I already was having problems with this one kid in class. And the dude, he was taller than me. And so, me and him already had problems. And so, like, that was something that, like, uh, one, it was, yeah, it was a magnet school. So, like, the teacher was, like, you know when, like, you get picked on. The teacher's, like, announced to the class, no picking on. But everybody know who the teacher talking about. It was one of those incidents. So, everybody was already weary of me. Except for, like, this one kid. Because we, uh, me and him became friends. Because of Dragon Ball Z. Shout out to my Dragon Ball Z niggas. But, uh. She she kicked me in my nuts in front of everybody. And when she did that, I just I just slapped the shit out of her. And then she decked me in my face. And when she decked me in my face, that's when I punched her. Like, she knocked the shit out of me. Like, I stumbled back. And I didn't want to do none of this. But, like, it's a part of the way, you're like, your ego as a kid. Like, when you got to, you, you already done took war wounds. And when you get beat up, like, you get, like, handled in front of everybody, like, something just click in your head, like, bruh, I can't go out like no bitch, like, not like this. Like, I could be a bitch, but not a, not a bitch, bruh. Like, you get what I'm saying? But anyway, we ended up fighting. And then, uh, a lot of people stopped fucking with me after that, though. So, I hate it had to be her. But the other dude, like... I don't know. He picked on me, but, like, me and him ended up getting cool. We had to get counseling together. So, like, me and him really didn't have no problem. It was, like, folks like her, like, that, just the the ratchet kids that was from the hood that just really fucking, I don't know, bro. Like, part of it was because my pops, he was, like, this when he was on the radio and shit and touring with famous rappers. And so they just thought I was, like, I don't know what the fuck they thought, but they thought I was, like, some spoiled brat. And it's, like, bro, if I was spoiled, do you really think... I'll be in a, the school around y'all be in some private shit like ducked out. Anyway, fact of the matter is they, they, at the end of the day, they was hating. They, a lot of kids just didn't like me just for the simple fact that they just thought we was rich and we wasn't bro. Like if y'all know how like DJs and stuff, when they're first starting out, not later, but like when, when you're DJing and first starting out, it's a month, you're making money, but you're making enough just to like, stay afloat until you start doing other ventures with your you know djing with artists like you know because artists is getting paid for the records it once so my dad started like doing the mix shows and the clubs and you know all the other stuff is when like he got like setting up stages when he started getting comfortable with his life but that was when i was well off in like high school by the time that shit and this is like when i'm in elementary school when he's first like making it like he's starting to pop off and his name is popping off but he's starting to get to like doing shows with rappers like i don't know if y'all know the music industry back in the 2000s djs went on like djs you just got paid what you got paid at the show so that's a whole nother thing but uh yeah like it was they was just i don't know what her problem was i still don't know i if i ever see her i'll be like what the fuck made you act like that but after that nobody fucked with me a lot of people actually like a lot of other dudes didn't like her because she was like an asshole to them and so they actually like, was happy that i did slap the shot of her but yeah i got uh i didn't get case because she was known to be a bully i didn't get case i asked none of that but i did have to like like write a paper or a house sorry and i had to hit girls and all that bullshit but no I was raised to defend yourself. It don't matter who the fuck hitting you. And females are evil, bro. Like, little girls, them motherfuckers are nasty, bro. Like, they will pinch you till you bleed. Like, because they think that dudes are not supposed to hit them. So, I tell that story to say, my kids definitely going to be, let them kick my son in the nuts. He's going to be haymaker and bitches, bro shit it's an anime store and anybody can catch these hands bro like for real bro like 
you can't you like you can't live by those rules not today like these girls are evil they look especially now these little kids are evil these little kids are man that how you pulling out your hair and dreads bro uh but i just think that's unfair so if a woman smack a man what should you do he probably deserved it to be honest what yeah, you want to play this game? Let's go. <laughs> and doesn't she deserve to be smacked back? If no, she hit she's a girl. Girl, guys should not hit girls. But girls should hit guys? I never said that, no. But if they do, the guy should smack her back? No. Why not? Because guys shouldn't hit girls. Why? Because it's, it's just, yeah. that's that's just unfair. Exactly, like, they they don't have a why. They can always have a why about a, for a boy when they're for the girl. But girls don't ever learn to keep their hands to their cell. Like, girls are really fucking feisty, bro. Hell, ain't my sister, bro. I grew up with one. So I definitely know firsthand. And she was taught not to hit boys, but she was bumping with us, bro. Like, she evil as fuck. And the bro. And we would get our ass beat if we put our hands on her. Like, that's the one girl I won't touch. But any of these other bitches, if they hit me or whatever, bro. But now you got to be careful, bro. When you grown, like you grown now, you can, you gotta just exit the situation, bro. You going to jail? But my little kids, they better knock these bitches out, bro. I don't give a fuck. There. My son be knocking these bitches because out because girls are tender and <laughs> beautiful creatures that should not be hit. But don't they know that before they hit the man that they can't handle it? I don't know. I I disagree because I think he's used to so many women just being nice to him and not telling him like to his face and I I don't do that. What what are you looking for here? Do you do you want a relationship? What's what's the question? I mean, I don't want a relationship. I'm 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 dating. You're dating. Yeah, you know, you got to you got to No, see, no. Yes, you do. But like Meghan Markle didn't get where she got just like because she. Who? <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this. Honest. You think being a oh sh our women are there. oh my god. You just you gotta you know you gotta date you gotta test the waters you gotta test the you waters. You know what? <laughs> you right. <laughs> what the hell I'm talking for? better to live alone wow. in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife and a lovely I don't agree with a lot that uh, Steve Harvey says anymore but he was right to leave that alone lovely home Proverbs 25:24 It's better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife and a lovely home Proverbs 21:19 It's better to live alone in the desert than with a quarrelsome complaining wife Y'all see that everything is established based on two or three <laughs> Some of the brothers are like, thank you, Jesus, for putting that kick in for me one time. Because my wife been wearing me out. I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. But see, the fact that that says that three times, and all three of them are in Proverbs. That's the Lord telling you. That's how, that's how God looks at a, 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 a bugging, nagging, quarrelsome type wife. Mm -mm. He said, this, man, that's crazy. He said, it's better for a man to be on the roof. And not just on the roof, over in the corner. What? Thank you for watching Damn, that's crazy. I didn't know that. I'm going to read that back. I'm going to run that back one more time, bro. Listen. Better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Proverbs 25, 24. It's better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Proverbs 21, 19. It's better to live alone in the desert than with a quarrelsome complaining wife. Y'all see that? Everything is established based on two or three. <laughs> Some of the brothers are like, thank you, Jesus, for putting that kick in for me one time. That's crazy, bro. And there's some dudes out here that's living through happy wife, happy life bullshit, man. Hell no, nah, bro. I be damn, bro. I be motherfucking damn. Y'all let me know how y'all like this video. Sorry this is uploading probably a little late. But I'll see y'all later in the next one. Peace out.